TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can get a like. I mean, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, I posted a, a thing on my community tab on what YouTubers y'all think is funny. Blah 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 blah. This one got a lot of likes. So this is Grilling Season One, Episode Eight with Castillo, Castillo, Castillo. Let's get into this, man. So back in the day, yeah. Let's say I've seen like a few things. I had a few things on rotation, yeah. What I do, I see one in the morning, yeah. So okay. like let's say not in the morning, like twelve o'clock lunchtime, yeah. She come through, yeah. Then five, then she go home around five o'clock. I got my next thing. Five o'clock one would leave around nine, yeah. And then I get my next thing come through around twelve. No, you're yeah? actually disgusted. Around twelve, yeah. And then in the morning, <laughs> I'd say like, yo, Baze, I got, I got to go work. Them times I don't even have f***ing job, bruv. Talk about it. Hey. You were spending good time, four to five hours. You better than me. DMs, dating apps. I don't have time for that. I don't believe you should kiss a lot of frogs to find your prince. I believe in grilling them. I'm going to be going on a series of dates to find who can really wow me. This is grilling. Oh. Big man thing is Castillo, bruv, aka the sniper, aka the main event, bruv. Big man thing, I've seen a few people in the comments asking for me to come, bruv. So, man, come through, bruv. You get me? Oh, okay. This is, she ain't gonna be this is one of these things, okay. Really me, you get me, bruv. Nah, bruv, I don't get worried about nothing. You get me? There's nothing she could ask me. There's nothing she could ask me that I ain't heard before. Caught cheating too many times to get stuff out here, bruv. Are you looking for a relationship then? Sniper out now on all digital platforms, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Uh, she's actually kind of bad. I ain't even gonna lie to you. She got good skin tone. You know what I'm saying? Good. Her eyes not too far away from her nose. Lips look nice. Okay. Hair nice. All right. Yo, what about? Hi. Hello. Mwah. Nice I like to the meet bread. you. Hey, don't know, don't know. Yeah. You look nice. Thank you. Uh. My friend, cheers. Hey, thank you, Shin. What's your name? Black Air Force energy right off the top. My man got a silky, slick ponytail. Okay. Castillo, what's your name? Castillo. Yo, the mixed race girl name's there. It's nice. Okay. Yo, she's kind of crisp still, you get me? Nice little light skin ting, curly hair. You get me? She's a slim ting, you get me? But one, two, three stone, it's perfect, bruv. But I could feed her, you get me? What in the ghetto is going on? Oh. It took you a while to get here. Where have you been? What? It wasn't pussy this morning and last night. Don't know. No lie. So you wow. had sex with someone and came straight here? Yeah. Have you cleaned your teeth? Yeah, of course. Can't be walking out of fresh pussy on my breath. That's rude, you know. We ain't there yet. You get me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kept with a book? I'm not there yet, yeah, but what about the woman? Did you actually? Yeah, I did for real. I bother you. Bothers me a bit. Why though? You could have taken one, two willies last night. You get me? It's not my business. If this is what I'm saying. This is why it's scary and this is why I don't like dating because I just feel like everyone's just moving mad. Don't worry though. I'm, I'm fully drained right now. So you know it's a genuine thing right now. I'm actually trying to get to know you. You get me? <laughs> Why are you wearing glasses? <laughs> That's facts. He not thinking with his little head. He thinking with his mind over here. Huh? Because it's like the window to the soul, innit? You ain't ready yeah, for that yet. Yeah, I'm ready though. You ain't ready yet. I'm not, you don't think I'm ready? No, 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 not yet. Do you underestimate me? Well, nah, no underestimation. I don't know if you're confident though, because I feel like you're hiding. Yeah, nah, I'm here though. Are you insecure? Nah, I'm very confident. You sure? Do you know what I noticed here? Yeah? I was in the bar from you, it was changing there. You had some knickers on the floor, I saw a skid mark in there. You're moving mad. <laughs> you're tired. You're moving mad. <laughs> That's funny, I'm not wearing knickers. So you just got your pussy nah. just out here, like There's wearing no jeans? There's knickers in there. Yeah, free, why not? How come? Why not? Because what if like you bend down and bare people can see your ass cracking that? There's a classy way to bend down. You bend down and you do like the, mm, you know. True, true. Or, like when you get out of the car, you do the. Ah, you know. see. Barely, she got on a t-shirt. Yeah, I see. Like a lady. Like, so tell me about yourself. I do events, I do music, I do all kinds of things. Bare thing, social media, big man thing, follow me on the gram if you ain't. Yeah. What'd you do? Since Would you ever do OnlyFans? No. Never. Why he jumped right into it? This man is crazy. Who, who is this? I, I never say never. Yeah. You never know, like, your life circumstance. What are you trying to say, life circumstance? Like, you got to be a struggling bitch or something. I know women that, you know, secure the bag and make a lot of money on it. Just for me know. personally, I think the direction that people think OnlyFans is, like, sexual content, mm. it's giving it a bad name, if that makes sense. Yeah, I get you. It is. What are you talking about? 
The owner of OnlyFans resides here in Chicago. What are you, what are you talking about here? You know what? I'm not even going to talk about that. Okay, you <laughs> well, only do OnlyFans. I would do OnlyFans, you know. I'm yeah. not going to lie to you. Like, I feel like, I mean, best sex tapes and I feel like people need to see that shit. Oh, really? Yeah. You know the ones where you just know you're good at some shit? Are you and sure then though? other people got to see that. How do you know you're good? I, I can bust on command. Really? So like, do you come too, quick? Nah, like I bust on command. Like I'm telling you, I can for three hours. If the thing says, ready to come, I come. You've got to control your shit. You get me? Men's Usyk out there. You get me? Different level. And that's the problem because the man. That's, uh, I mean, hey, I mean, okay. Now, ego, will have you thinking you're good in bed and. Do you know how I know? Because my willy drives get out crazy. They always come back. You got toxic dick then. Big man thing. The That's the one dick. you need right there, lad. You got girl. They'll pay your rent for that dick. Really? Big they man pay thing. Your rent. Yeah, real. He's not lying. This is a real thing. This is a real thing. Some of y'all might not know about that, but that's a real thing. Yeah, I yeah, sugar mama flex. No, I don't know sugar mama things. Things my age. Paying your rent. Big man thing. This dick will have your girl taking out loans. Yeah, <laughs> putting things in people's <laughs> names. Man, it's mad. How much you weigh, you think? I don't know, you know. Like, you're a skinny thing, innit? So, like, literally, you're big things. Like, when you get them on the floor, lie down flat like that, yeah? You get the legs, stretch it all the way back, yeah? And you're just pressing up, just got the d just driving in, drilling it. Give it Easy hand. way to make a gal squat. Or you do the next thing, you go on top of her, put her feet right there while you're on top of her. While you're f***ing, you get your thumb, rub on the quick way for her to bust. Joe sometimes when it's so yeah. bad. He's not lying. God, I've, I've, I've... I've done both of those to, 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 to and he's, he's, he's correct. I don't want to go too much. I, I, I do condone this, actually. You were like, this is, this is condonable. No, no, you could feel it. You hear the thing, you hear the, oh. you know about that little suction <laughs> thing in it. See, that's why you're smiling. You know about it. Big man, that's why you're funny. smiling. Mm -hmm. Don't know. See, toast to that. Don't know. <laughs> Get me. Fam is really grilling her. He was not bullshitting. So like, what do you actually look for in a woman then? Number one, I'm not gonna lie, I'm an appearance person first. You gotta look the part. Body, face, back off, all of that, yeah? I need to be like, wow, every time I look at you. Next thing is, you gotta be secure within yourself and be able to be by yourself. Love your own company. You don't need bare people around you. You don't need to be going out. You don't need no validation to feel good. You're good in your own company. I like that shit. So what's the matter? Despite everything that he said before, that was that was that was some that was some that was some uh meaningful shit right there. Done in bed. There was this thing on my Facebook. I went to like a yardy rave. She recognized me, came up to me. We just started lip syncing right there in the rave in it. And then after that, I'm not sure who this guy was. I think this must have been her baby father or something in it. But she was with her bridging. I got in the car, her baby father was driving, her bridging got in the front, and me and her were sitting in the back. He drove us to her yard Don't. and he left because they're having an argument, yeah. They me and her the same night, but while we were and her bridging was in the corner. Camera just filming, bruv. What? Real talk. Wait, so he knew? You know, I don't know what the f them people was doing, bruv, but it was mad. If that was the other way around, that would be a revenge porn situation. That's messed up. Yeah, I feel like I was sexually abused, bruv. It's a bit mad. <laughs> you feel sexually abused. Yeah, because they was filming me, bruv. They didn't have my consent. Big man. Did you stop? No. Continue. When I got filmed, it wasn't a thing, but man them. Don't be filming gal in that, bruv. You get me, bruv. You end up on a register, bruv. Like, mm. Up in there with Arkells eating pot noodle, bruv. Don't do it. Do women ever say any stories about you? Nah, never, bruv. I'm not a rapist, bruv. That's a bit mad. I'm glad that you know what yeah, consent yeah. is. You got me, so, you know. Like, literally, some man is mad persistent with it, bruv. Yeah. You gotta relax, bruv. So you can read the room. Yeah, big man saying, you gotta read the room. You're you trying to end up like R. Kelly, bruv. Now he's in jail. Gotta give up his body, bruv. You say it so normally about. He said, now he's in jail, probably give up his body. What the fuck going on here? Is, like, is this whole episode him? Violation thing. But as women, this would be very traumatic for us. No, I'm not traumatized by it. I'm That's kind what of mean, glad. That my, is work, my work was amazing, though, it's, so it's not traumatizing. It's just the fact that they filmed that shit. I kind of want them to send that back. Why do you think it's a good video? I want to see how I can improve. Yeah, low key, because you know the ones there, like, I, she was like a thick thing as well, innit? So, like, I was putting in some good work. Okay. So, you do you like me? people watching you? If we're filming, then yeah. But I don't want nobody watching me. Like, if I was like, Somebody's yelling now. I wouldn't want him in the corner of the room, like playing with his dick and that. that yeah, nah, that's weird. That's weird. That's that's weird. I can say I'm I'm uh, I. Has that ever happened? Nah, that's never happened. But that's it's been brought to my attention that it's yeah. I got a girl. Let's. let's I'm like, what, bro? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Weird me out. Yeah. Do you like people to watch you? No. You don't like performing. So you never filmed your ting? You, I know you filmed your ting. No. Come on. I know you filmed your ting. Never. You know you filmed your ting, lad. Yeah, you know she's you filmed your pretty. I know you filmed your ting. I don't know. I say you're drinking the drink. That's your little cue right there, isn't it? Anytime I say some shit, you drink it. I like that. 
Okay, I, he might get her. He might get him. Facebook, something must have hollered at me on there. I met up with her, I went to see her. She drove, I don't know where the fuck she lived. It was so deep in north, I don't know where the fuck it was. It's like Pinner, bruv. Those out of the ends, hills have eyes places, bruv. So we went to her yard, <laughs> we f and as soon as we finished, she started smoking crack, bruv. What? Yeah, she started smoking crack. She started smoking crack. Basically. And then after that, I just wanted to go to my yard, bruv. I made up with a lie. I said my mum was cooking dinner. I got a homie that messed that mess with a crackhead. But, but he, like, bigged her up, like, oh, yeah, let's go link with this, da 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 She do this, da da I'm like, wait, what? She do what? You hit already. And you want me to accompany you. Because she got friends, and are they crackheads too? Like what? No, I'm good. Hell no. Nah, nah. nah. Get home fast. Oh my god. And she was driving home, bro. Two of them. Two, this is on two occasions he must have. I've seen it in the car. Like we picked her up, and she was doing asking. I was like, wait, wait, nah, 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 nah. Drop me back off, man. Just swerving in the road, like, oh my god, you're so beautiful. I was like, bitch, you are a crackhead, bruv. Take me home. <laughs> yeah, it's a crackhead. Like I didn't know she was a crackhead at the time, but the pussy was good. You get me? But you look like you're. Like yeah, he strung you out off the crack was running through that cooch. Bad, 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 bad. You look like you're like a man, so let's grab you by the throat and just mash up your thing. I'm not gonna lie. A house? No cap. That is how she looked. Read the room, Castile. He's reading it correctly. Out of ends, in the ends, yeah, where you from? Essex. Uh, yeah, yeah, you like the bad man, innit? Uh, I can tell you like a bad man. Guys, you want me to like a bad man? I feel like you do. I'll fuck you up, though. I'd mash you up. But I just need to know what your level is. I swear, all we're talking about is sex. Like, sex, 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 sex. So you never had a night where you f somebody bareback? I know you f yeah, bareback before. If it's my man. You ever got STI before? So no. you never had chlamydia? No. I caught it like four times in the past. Really? That was just f too many gal. The amount of times he has sex, I'm not surprised he's had chlamydia. 16 gal just juggling them around, innit? Like, what? I had things from Birmingham. Things from like east, north, west, all them things there, and I was just moving mad. But I had like about five proper things and some other ones that I was just f***ing in it. I feel like you've got an ego, so you would want me to come. So you f but do you not care about a woman's orgasm? No, no, you got to go first all See? the time. you got to bust first all the time. Yeah, no, that's, that's real talk. Because you want them to come back. You want them to return, so you want them to first, twice, maybe three times. You know what I'm saying? You can't just go in there like, ah, 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 it's all about me. You know time I, mean? I ain't doing I my shit it. properly. I'm That's mad. To that. I'm See, close. a man that actually lets a woman come first. We'll talk. Do you know why? Yeah, because I need them repeat customers. You get me? If I need you, just you to. Last customer. I need women. them repeat customers. You see what I'm saying? I need you to get this dick so good, you go tell your brethren. So then, when this shit f's up, I can get one of your brethren. No cap. That's happened to me before. That's what it is, girls. Women, don't tell your best friends about this, cause they coming. They be in the DMs. They be texting. <laughs> Do you suffer with mental health? Depression and that. I feel yeah. like, to be fair, I've been depressed for a long time. It's social media that saved my life. Yeah, I was going for a shit time. Yeah, I made one social media video, went viral. That should change my life. Really? But to be fair, the cure to depression is to figuring out the root of it. My root was being broke. Yeah. I figured out the root of it and then that's it. But along the way, I had to learn a lot of shit about myself. About when it comes to men, man, normally that depression shit when women taking away their kids and money. Low key. What did you learn about yourself? You learn your resilience. You learn how strong you are. You learn how to stretch peas. You learn to be shitted on and be able to come back from that. You know how to fall down seven times and stand up eight times. You learn all of that. You get me? You learn that, that rejection, all of that shit is nothing. Yeah, yeah. Stretch money. Listen, let me tell y'all something right now. I don't know if y'all got DoorDash out there. Whatever eating service that you got out there, if you can connect Venmo to it, I know y'all got Venmo. That's how you did it. Like, your bank account might say zero and it might put like negative fees on your shit, but you're gonna eat every time. Because Venmo is gonna go through every single time. No matter if you have money there or not, it's gonna go through. You can eat for years. <laughs> your bank account gonna be ugly, but it's gonna be, it's, you're gonna eat. <laughs> Rejection is normal. Failing is normal. Yeah, it is. You know I'm trying to say, like, I gotta give a shout out to the people, which is like followers and Instagram. People say that don't mean nothing, but for me, them people changed my life. Like, 100%, them people lifted me out of all that shit. You get me? Because if they didn't. Hell yeah. Y'all lift me through a lot of my baby mama issues, man. Fuck her, matter of fact. But y'all lift me through a lot of her issues. You know what I'm saying? She, I, 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 I'm speaking of her. I think she told one of her friends about me, and, 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 and her, one of her friends got, you know. 
got the Peter Piper pick a pepper pick a pepper, you know what I'm saying? And and she knew about it. She wasn't my baby mama at the time, but she stayed. So it's probably why we having all these issues now. <laughs> Pent up anger. It's been helped me. I'd be on a mad thing because I was this close to murking people, bruv. I used to sit on night buses all day. I'd sit on night buses in the night so I wouldn't go insane to yeah. keep my peace of mind. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And like, if anybody owed me money or nothing, I would probably do the worst to you. Do you know what I'm trying to say? A few times I've tried to set people up just because they try to do something bad to me. It's not a joke thing. This depression thing, it'll make you yeah. find depths of yourselves that you've never ever found in your life. You know what I'm trying to say? And when you come out from that, though, you become a better person. There's nothing wrong with being in the shit, bruv. Yeah. Everybody got to lose their mind once. Because when you find yourself, it's a madness, bruv. It's beautiful. You get me? I feel like I'm going through a lot of that right now, like, for a second time in life. Man, this guy has a lot of gems. I'm not even going to lie. He, like, he, he, he's a funny motherfucker. <laughs> like, he's talking about a lot of stuff, but, like, a lot of the other things he's speaking on, it's straight facts and it's deep. And look at how look look at how she looking at her. If she get up guaranteed, the the, the vinyl on this chair might be wet. Simple. Yeah, that's why I'm happy all the time now, bro. Life like is that. beautiful. I like that. Cheers to you. Done now. So how many people just have you slept with? Enough. See, she keep going back to sex now, you see? My boy can still a, he's a legend. Like over hundred. <laughs> Sniper out now on all digital platforms. <laughs> I think she looks like a 15 to 20 man kind of girl. Yeah, I think she's about 15 to 20 man. You get me? About two free relationships. She said free relationships. You get me? One, two holidays, bruv. The willies pile up, bruv. You do some addition, subtracting. Next thing you're at 20, bruv. You get me? That's how it is. So back in the day, yeah. Let's say I've seen like a few things. I had a few things on okay, rotation. Here we go. Yeah. What I do, I see one in the morning, yeah? So like, let's say, not in the morning, like 12 o'clock, lunchtime, yeah? She come through, yeah? Then five, then she'd go home around five o'clock, I got my next thing. Five o'clock, one would leave around nine, yeah? And then i get my next thing come through around 12. No, you're yeah? actually disgusting. Around 12, yeah? And then in the morning, I'd say like, yo, Baze, I got, I got to go work. Them times I didn't even have a f***ing job, bro. <laughs> but I'd say, yo, Baze, I got... Ah! Oh! Oh, man, I've done that before. Hey, I gotta go to work. All the time, I ain't got no job. Oh man, that was in my younger days. That's funny. I'm crying. That's funny. Too. I, gotta get, I gotta go to work. Yeah. I put on my clothes, everything like I'm Oh work, man, yeah. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. Had old name tags, put it on, like I'll <laughs> grab the bus card. Why didn't you say, can you leave? Because I'm not a horrible bastard, bruv. That's, that's terrible. How could I just tell them to leave like that? That's mad. Mm -hmm. Nah, the only time that you gotta go is if, like, you're a crazy bitch, bruv. If you're a crazy bitch, you gotta leave my house. I remember one time I see a girl, she was like, he must have beat, fell asleep. Four o'clock in the morning, she woke up, said she wants pizza. Did she asked to do something like normal. Four in the morning, bruv. I'm hungry, what's up now? There's no bro? pizza shops open at that time. The only people out is crackheads, bruv. So you don't cater to women's needs other than just sexual No, all just, the time. You gotta cater to a woman's needs. Do you want love? Snipe out now on all digital platforms, man. <laughs> the only reason I started getting dead pussy yeah, is because I was fat in school. Like about 14, 15, I was like 16, 17 stone. I got no pussy, rev. Couldn't even see my willy, it was mad. The maddest thing, you would never believe this if I told you. I lost my virginity at 20. I must have had like a long time girlfriend, that's my first. Basically, was together for like a year. And it was so good, I was so like loyal, all of that, yeah. But I swear down, I'd just be online, bruv, just seeing bare different things. I'd just be seeing big back off spies and all of that. I was like, yo. I need to get some of that, bruv. So I literally broke up with her after a year. And then the day after I broke up with her, I started f***ing some next thing from Harsden. So nobody made you a savage. Just just holding your virginity for 20 years made you a savage, huh? Why have you got gold teeth? Because my teeth are up, bruv. And my real teeth, I ain't got. I only got baby teeth. I was raised in the Caribbean. I didn't go to no dentist or nothing. Mad poor, bruv. I steal people's toys. Do bear shit. By the time I come back up here, my teeth was just f***ed. When I got some pee, I was just like, let me get these f***ing top ones in gold. And then I just thought, let me go do these bottom ones in gold. Yeah, and I just... Yeah, but that's the reason. What it's does not, it taste like? Girls say it just tastes like metal. Metal, metal. Yeah, just metal. If I didn't have them right now, bruv, you'd be like, yo, my teeth is on some f***ing <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street thing, bruv. It's yeah. mad. What's your thoughts on, like, toxic masculinity? What the f*** is that? Big man saying, I ain't... You. I'm toxic, I know what toxic masculinity is. Like, don't cap to yourself, we know what you it know is. You know what that hyper-masculinity thing is, bruv, but shout out to my LGBTQ people, bruv, you get What me? is he talking about? Men being able to be emotional, yeah. like, um, just very self-aware, like, mm. if you were upset, like, what is your outlet? I feel like women say 
they want a man that's all sensitive and all that stuff, yeah? And then when he shows you that, you'll think he's a pussy or. No, do you know what? It's about balance. Mm. Because it's like, don't get me wrong, if my man's like crying too much, like, listen, I want my man to be able to, if he's upset, <coughs> we get upset, <coughs> we find out, like, we get a solution, done. Wait, this is not what I thought she was talking about. Why does she call it toxic masculinity? Okay, you crying about the same solution. So mm. that, that would annoy me. It's just about knowing that you can open up. So let me ask you a question, yeah? You're at a rave, yeah? You're at a rave with your man, yeah? Some random guy comes by you, like, six foot five, AJ looking, yeah? He slaps your batty, yeah? Your man tries to hype up and he's like, bruv, shut your mouth, bruv. Yeah, and then he slapped the shit out of your man. Your man don't do nothing. Then you go home and you're like, Baze, why don't you do anything? He's like, oh, Baze, I don't want to get hurt. What would you say to him then? When we have these conversations, it's like, oh, just because a man cries doesn't make him a pussy. Or but what whatever. would you think? Would you still give him some pussy after that? Yeah. So you always behind you to shut up and he's like, who's pussy? Like? Who's pussy? You're going to be like, it's yours, babe. Yeah, it's so After you just saw a man got slapped out. Yeah, but like, She's capping, she's lying. The thing is though, like men have issues with <coughs> themselves, like a man and a man, like the toxic masculinity, that's your own issue, because that's an issue that men need to work on. I can only work on an issue with my man, if that makes sense, because I know like the man reacting like that mm. is toxic and he has his own... Knowing your boyfriend can get beat up at any given time is not very sexy. It's not, it's not something that you... <laughs> I'm glad when I'm in relationships, can't nobody beat me up. That's just how I feel. That's the type of energy I give up. The big man thing, more of the story is, man, them don't get slapped in front of your gal, bruv. She's your f***ing best friend. Don't do it. What? He's right. They never cry in front of your no, gal. No, no, unsay that. This is why there's such a stigma around men showing emotions. No, bruv. Don't say that. Like, you I'm can't saying, say that. You have a big platform and you can't say I know, don't man cry. Man, don't cry in front of your gal. Don't no, do that, I, th I think if you want a, a normal, functioning, healthy relationship, mm. you you need to be able to cry. You need to be able to open up. Mm. You got really pretty eyes. I like the I way like you that. just like big man singing. I like the earrings as well. I love who's earrings. That. I'm not gonna lie, you know, Bev. She's chatting bare shit, so I just zone out for a bit. I like that, but still, I do believe you like bad man now. So, like, with your social media platform, do you find that you have some sort of responsibility for like what you put out? There are certain men that ask me, and certain women that ask me for relationship advice. And to me, it's a simple answer. But then there's some people, they're going through some real shit. So them, them people oh, there, man. i got a responsibility to because I know what it's like. Be through some hard times in it. So like, my thing is this, yeah? It's a responsibility in the sense of like, I always think about people's mental health and what they're going through before I ever take the piss out of them, yeah? yeah. But if it's on some like, you're my youth role model thing, bruv. Fuck you and your youth, bruv, I don't care. You know what I mean? I ain't yeah. no role model to nobody. In terms of people and helping them, 100%. Because like I said, them people saved my life. Them people got me out of nothing. Bruv, I had no money, universal credit, all of that run out, nothing, yeah? Then literally I'd be like, yo, who needs promotion? Da -da -da -da. Somebody send me a 500 right there. Saved my whole life for the month. I definitely owe them people. They would never know how much I owe them. Like, that's why I, that's why I never really ever will ever shit on social media thing, because like, it's, it saved my life. Because honestly speaking, if it if I didn't... That's facts. That's why I respond to a lot of my social media because, like, without y'all, like, y'all don't even be known but be going on behind the scenes. Like, I don't ask for nothing, but, like, that's that's tough. Shit really do be saving lives. Though. And have that, I'd definitely be in jail. 100%. Yeah, facts. Every day I got the urge to blink something, but then I... <laughs> then I... Then I post the video that I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I love to eat pussy. Yeah. Like real talk. Yeah, yeah, I love to eat pussy. Finally, someone actually eats pussy. Like, do you know what it is? It's like if you've liked a woman for a long time, like if she's like your, like your crush. Like there's women that like I've crushed hard on social media, yeah, Facebook, Instagram, all of that. Then I got with them, and I swear down, as soon as we got together, bruv, as soon as like you got to that moment, yeah. I swear down, bruv, man, this parted that like Moses, bruv. Face deep, bruv. I'm talking about face deep. I'm talking about, yo. I'm talking about straight in there, bruv. I became an animal. I became a different man. Bruv, there ain't nothing wrong. Hey, he's not lying, G. That's how I be. That's eating how some I pussy, be. Bruv. There's nothing wrong with some good, clean non bruv. You get me? Nothing wrong with that. Yeah? Yeah, I'm telling You're good you. good at it. She ready. What's your technique? Bruv, facing it, tongue it, suck the... You get me? Switch the tongue all the way around it, bruv. You get me? All the juices and all that shit, bruv. It's like a passion fruit. I love it. You get me? Switch the tongue all the way. Keep her eyes. Watch her eyes. Way around it, bruv. You get me? All the juices and all that shit, bruv. It's like a passion fruit. I love that shit. It's still the right technique still. It's all right. <laughs> oh, she ready. She ready. I guarantee you she gave him some. She had to. I don't believe she did. 
Other than sex, as you have a lot. Uh, uh, after episode eight, the series was over. There's nothing left. Love it. What else do you like to do? I like giving people advice. I like helping people. Yeah. You get me? I love doing music. That's my main thing. Snipe out now on all digital platforms and that. You get me? But like, I love helping people, bruv. Like, you get me? I love helping people. Like, I do like relationship advice. I get people DMing me like, Wait, what? wait, wait, wait. Yeah. You give relationship advice? Yeah, yeah. See, what kind of person is taking relationship advice off this man? We'll talk. No, no, no. No, I won't talk. I'm not gonna lie, he said some very deep shit in this whole, into the 16 minutes that I've listened to. So, I mean, he's obviously talking to you, so he's big up in himself. He's trying to get some somewhere, which, but he said some stuff that's been eye-opening. Look, I'm not lying, like, literally, like a few years ago, some girl DM'd me, like, she said that her man was a cross-dresser, and she started sending me pictures of him, and he was wearing dresses, and he was wearing her shoes and that. You get me? And, and I just I just told her like, yo, man's just living his life, expressing himself, innit? If you're not down with it, you can't do shit. So then me and her linked up like a week later and we was f No, this is what I'm saying. That's not advice. That's just like <laughs> No, but I helped her, brother. A man won't give her no dick. That's mad. Alright, so just make space for you. No, but he's depriving her, brother. Like she's gone insane, brother. A man's wearing her heels and that. That's mad. Right. Do you not want love? Snipe out now on all digital platforms, <laughs> bruv. <laughs> I want peas, bruv. Yeah. I want money, that's what I want. You money. want just money? Yeah, the love thing. Money is what so I want. So you don't want love? No, 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 Rev, because... Has your heart the... been broken? Yeah, a few times. Love will get you hurt, man. Love will get you killed. Loyalty. Give me loyalty before you give me love, man. Because loyalty... I tell people this all the time, man. Loyalty is, is open and shut. There's no wavering. Loyalty is what it is. A motherfucker can say they love you and and take you off this planet the next day. And they say it's out of love. That's weird as hell. Like, how? What are you talking about? A few so is that times why you don't know. want love? Do you feel like you've been burned so many times you're just not on it now? Do you know what it is here? Yeah? I'm on a laying and gal down thing right now, bruv. I'm not gonna lie. It's just about laying down the gal then right now, bruv. I just feel like, bruv, this willy's gotta be shared, bruv. I just gotta laying down the gal. That dick is not going anywhere near me. Yes, it Do you did. Think you've done it enough. Nah, bruv. Shorty, yes, it did. I gotta explore the world, bruv. This is London. It's a bigger world, bruv. It's Brazil. Bro, France, Sweden, so Russia, gonna, bear things, bro. You ever gonna settle down? Like, what, when? You, she at least got some top from him. You gonna be like, right, that's it. A snap out now on all digital so platforms, bro. Do you know how annoying you are? That's what I'm gonna start saying when people, when people ask me some shit that I don't wanna answer, I'm gonna tell them the lit one on YouTube. What the fuck? <laughs> what advice do you give guys to get laid? It's three things, yeah? Mm -hmm. Number one, Look presentable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get me? Go get yourself a decent haircut. If you're a fat bastard, go gym. Some man can't pull it off, you get me? Yeah, that's number one. Get your appearance down, you get me? Okay. You don't want to be scaring off the girl them. Yeah? Number two, be confident about yourself. <coughs> don't matter if you're broke. Don't matter if like you're a top waist man. You can make it work. A lot of men that are super waist man. It's facts, man. Confidence, confidence goes a long way with women. Confidence, if you come up to a con girl confidently, She's going to be like, what the fuck is this? What the hell he got going on in life? I like that. You get gal, you just need a bit of confidence, yeah? And number three, don't overthink the thing. Yeah, a lot of men think that chatting to a gal is a big thing, like approaching a gal is a big thing. You just got to look at it like this. Don't go in there with no motives. Even trying to go in there to get pussy is a mad thing. Just go in there on some get to know the person thing and everything will fall into place. That's a fact. Like one of my boys used to, we used to go out go out to the club and they they on their mind was oh, i'm only going out because i'm getting some and they wouldn't get none like bro you can't go out like that you gotta go out like i'm just going out to have a good time and if that should happen it happened because if that's the only thing on your mind that's the only thing you're gonna be searching for the whole night and you're gonna jag your night you're gonna start having a terrible night after the first <coughs> After the first three rejections and shit. The place. It's when you try and force it and try and have an objective, try and have a motive, try and have some sort of end goal. You're gonna show your card straight away. Gal is gonna see through that. See you're trying to get pussy, see you ain't got no confidence and it's gone. Yeah. Just strike up a regular conversation. <coughs> if you get rejected, Rev, there's big yell out here. It's not that deep. Yeah. Are you a family man? Nah, Rev, I don't give a fuck about family. If my whole life has just been me and my mum. I don't care about family. Both my parents had a one night stand, Rev, in a crack house. They made me, they both got schizophrenia. My mum, my gran adopted me. That's just me and my mum. That's all it is. Oh, that's wow. all I give a fuck about. Yeah. Mum's like 83 years old, yeah? Oh. And when she passes, that's it, bruv. I'm gonna be on a super mad thing, no, but yeah. No, 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 don't do that.
But yeah, but does your when it comes to the does family, does your mum not want to see like grandkids and stuff? I don't know, man. But like, have you ever had that conversation genuinely? Like, does she know how active you are? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. My mum used to meet bear girl. My mum used to meet bear girl back in the day. Yeah, but has she has she ever just been like, you know what, like? Mine too. My mum had to sit down and have a conversation with me. She said, "Stop introducing me to women unless you're gonna date them." I felt it. I felt it. I felt it. Sit down, meet a nice woman. And now like she told me not to get none of these things pregnant, Rev. Like she was like, don't get none of these things pregnant. You're moving mad. Ooh. I remember that at 23. Yeah, he never knew about me, and I never knew about him, because it was a one night stand thing, innit? Like literally, they just met. There was an Elin. They had a one night stand. That must have been the best pussy out in his life, bruv. Because like literally, they made me in it. So like after that, it's disappeared, bruv. It's not his fault though. You get me? Did his thing when they were selling drugs in and out of prison and all that stuff. And then he come out of prison. He was in prison for like seven years. Then he come out, and then my grandson went on a bus. He said, like, you know you got a son. And he was like, what? Then he grabbed my granny, threw her against the wall, and he off the bus, and he ran down the stairs. Wow. But then they made the connection or whatever, and then I met him. But yeah, he's all right, man, he's all right. So if I... You know, his, his, his uh, childhood and upbringing, and it explains a lot of how, how he moves, though. It's always like that. It's like with a hundred men. Mm. How do you feel about that? I so, feel like you need to get some professional help, bro. Come on, it's an issue that you come with yourself then, isn't it? Like, no, I'm fine with people's body count. I genuinely don't have an issue with your body count. Why do I have to be Virgin Mary? It's like OnlyFans. Girl, that do OnlyFans. I'm all for that shit. I love that shit. I think you should do that. But for the wifey, Man can't do that, bruv. Cause like, look at this. Like, look at the only. So why should I make you my husband? This is what I'm saying. No, you ain't, no, so, you ain't no, got me though. That's what I'm, I'm saying. saying. So what's acceptable for you? I don't think about girls' body counts. I'll never ask. I'd rather not okay, know. Okay. I, I'm never gonna ask you. I, I don't want to know that shit. Same. How can you be my wife, my queen, my soulmate? These times, man can see your pussy for four ninety nine a month, bruv. Yeah, <laughs> Netflix is ten pounds, bruv. Yeah, Netflix is ten pounds. That means my girl's pussy is worth less than Netflix, bruv. That's mad. Do you reckon you ever? I ain't never even looked at it because because only friends do be four ninety nine. Sometimes that should be free as fuck. And Netflix, the one I'm paying for, because you can use it on multiple TVs and multiple households, is sixteen ninety nine. That's tough. We will just settle with just one woman and not cheat, be with her. Snipe out now on all digital platforms. No, I hate, honestly, I hate you. You're so hard to have a conversation with. So I'm going to take it as a no. Snipe out now on all digital platforms, Bev. I feel like this is a front, and this is why you've got your glasses on. And I think that it's like an insecurity thing in the nicest way. Mm. You have good intent. Tell her one more time, Phil. Where, where a sniper out at? You just choose. Not to, and it's a shame, and that's why I'm not falling for ahead, that bad boy storyline that I could make you change. You're just toxic piece of shit. Big man thing. Cheers to the toxicity in that. <laughs> Done. Yeah. No, that's, really. That's a fuck no, bruv. That shit makes my dick soft, bruv. Never. Really? Once again, I find, like, Would you fight like me? No. Oh, okay. Busting a shit on a mad list, like, like no, bruv. Like, Really? Get some VI poo, bruv. Spray that shit in the toilet after you're done, <laughs> yeah. You know I me? Mean? Like, don't be out here just shitting up the place. Like. But it's normal. It is normal, bruv. But that whole fighting and burping shit, that's the first way to put me the f off. Really? Like, I will cheat on you so quick, bruv. Like, that's just <laughs> so quick. I just feel like that's mad disrespectful. Like, fighting and burping in front of me. Like, what the fuck is this? And cheating's I mean, not. Yeah, but still, like, fighting and burping, like, it's like I'm out your child, bruv. Really? That is pathetic, mate. Bruv, a girl cannot. I mean, if we've been in a relationship for a long time, man, whatever. Like, go ahead, let it loose. But don't, you know, make sure they're cute and, and, and quiet. You know what I'm saying? Once they start getting the sound of like mine, it's like, hey, listen, you're getting too comfortable. That ass is getting too loose. Go do a squat or something. That ain't supposed to come out like that. Like, chill. Fart around <laughs> me for a stinky batty, bruv. It's not happening. It's I like, want I want a best friend though. Do you know like, what I'm saying? I want my man's my best friend. Do you know what it is? Yeah, I'll be honest with you. Like once you fart in front of me, you can never try and be sexy. The moment you put on lo like lingerie and I'm just looking at you like, right, look at this stink batty gal, bruv. <laughs> that smelly bum, bruv. Oh yeah, sorry. It depends, on it? If like if you've got some shit kids, bruv, it's like no, bruv. You get me? I've had times where when at a gal's house, one time I was at a gal's house, I held I held Honestly, at my age, yeah, man, you, you gotta expect that the bitch got kids. I mean, a female got kids. Like, like that's that come with it because I'm not dating. My baby mama is young, and I would never date another young motherfucker again in my life. Biggest mistake of my life. I would never do it again. So, you gotta be at least 26, 27 
Lower than that, man, you gotta, nah, you still figuring out who the hell you are in life. No, I'm good. Hold the girl's hand and her son, literally, bruv, he threw a plastic chair at me, bruv. I was like, yo, dickhead. He's but a like, kid. Yeah, you know, I don't give a f, bruv, he threw a plastic chair at me. But if the kids are nice, then it's a yeah all the way. I, I don't mind. When you get to a certain age, like, you're gonna have to expect a girl has kids, bruv, you get me? Yeah. So it's not a problem. See? Unless your kids are dick See? kids. You can't call kids dickheads. Yeah, you can, bruv. There's a lot you of dickhead out there, bruv. Bear them. <laughs> No. Yeah. Yes or no? Hell no. Some girl, like, you need to give them that cut off for life, otherwise they're always going to think okay, of the yeah. And then if I get off a new woman, I never want you ever thinking that you're some competition to her. Like, you're dead, bruv. Right, that. You can He's never right. be anybody to her. You're nobody to her. You can't just be lingering in the back. He's right. It's a yes and a no. You right. need to know that this is the upgrade, bruv. You ordered Nokia 5110, bruv. This is an iPhone 15. Ain't no, there's no comparison. <laughs> Yeah, you but Nokia's me? was a good phone though. Yeah, but that's some old shit, bro. We ain't fucking with that no more. I don't mind because I think for me, I've never really had a toxic end to relationships. Mm. If it makes but then sense. what about your new guy? Like you just. No, nah, but it, there's a boundary. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm never gonna have my man look stupid. I'm not embarrassing my man. I'm, he's not. Gonna but even as chance your ex man is a bit of a violation. Like, like just knowing the fact that you're chatting to the next man that had his will in your mouth, it's mad. You get me? And so then would you not be happy with that? Hell no. If it's a serious thing, nah, man. You can't be chatting to that man. Yeah, all the time, bruv. That's standard. Yeah, sucking toes is blessed. Like, once, but man, nah, not so much. No, nah, but I've had girls suck my toes before. Yeah, if you've got it's nice, nice feet. If you've yeah, got it's nice, nice feet. It, like, it's like, it hits you in different places. Like, yeah. you feel tingles. It's like girl licking your nipples and that. It's like, yo, it's a bit zesty, but it hits the spot. You get me? <laughs> yeah, it's nice. <laughs> I think so. no, it's a bit zesty, but hey, do not, don't. I'm good. If a girl's got pretty toes as well, it's amazing. Like, when you're sucking a girl's toes, it's just, woo. <laughs> Get me? I, I, I go mad. Like I put my tongue between the nail, baby toe, all of that shit. Yeah. I love that shit. Is there anything you're embarrassed to admit? No, not really. Nah, nah. nah. You know what it is? I've gone through some up shit in it. So then you know when you go through some mad shit, like you gotta be, you gotta be super like open. Like I've had times when I've been super broke. A tin came to my yard. You go to the shower. You gotta wear shoes to the shower, bruv, because the the floor's soaked as. I was living in a mad place. There's maggots on the floor. Like, things at your yard, to see the maggots on the floor. You can't say shit, bruv. It's just... I feel like you're really desensitized to, like, things. Like I don't know, I've got to live life, innit? Like, just because it's a bit shit, I'm not going to get, like, it's depressing enough, innit? I've got to find little ways to make myself smile. Bruv, who the f she thinks she is, bruv? Trisha Goddard in that, bruv. She thinks she's a therapist. Long. This is going to work in your favor, man, because she thinks she can fix you. She thinks she can change you. And she can't. <laughs> What if my ex was after you? If it's over Gyal, he needs to f off. But if he's got a personal problem with me, I'd have to mash him up. But if it's over you, I ain't beefing over you, Rev. Why? What if we were together? And I ain't beefing over Gyal, that's we dead. in love? Can't beef over Gyal. So if earlier it... when I asked you that, when you gave me your scenario, Yeah. so now there's no beef over Gyal? No, you shouldn't beef over Gyal. I'd have a problem with him coming to me, not with you. Because I'm not beefing over Gyal, but on a man level, if he cross, if, like if he's trying to cross that line, I have to mash him up. That's mad. Okay, so what if we were out then, yeah. and, I, and I'm your woman, and someone yeah. touches me in the club, what are you doing about it? I'd have to mash him up, because now you're disrespecting Yeah, that's not beefing over your girl, though. That's disrespecting me as a man. You touch me, you, that means you think I'm some type of some type of HOE or something. It's like to me, it's not even about you. You think yeah. I'm a pussy, yo, that's why you're doing that. Yeah. OnlyFans is off the cards then. No, no, I'll link a girl with OnlyFans. It's not going to be no super relationship thing, bruv, because like I said with OnlyFans, the levels escalate. One minute, it's the show in the nipple, you get me? Next thing you know, you're trying to charge men a subscription of £20 for you to suck Willie on there, bruv. Two years later, now you're trying to show man your whole uterus, bruv, giving birth on there. Mad. <laughs> now that means as soon as my ute enters the earth, as soon as he comes into the world, he's already a waste man, bruv, because his mum's moving mad. Can't have that. What if I genuinely want to involve other people in our sex life? If it's another girl, cool. If you try to bring men in there, it's a whole other mad thing now. Why? Now you're just violating me on next level. Now I've got to watch next man f*** the shit out of you while I'm there in the back just watching like a victim, bruv. What is the problem with having a man? So, man's going to be drilling you out and I'm like looking at man's ball bags clapping off your bum cheeks. That's mad. That's going to give me PTSD. Now I'm insane. So seeing the next man's ball bags clapping against your bottom lip, bruv. Now I'm just watching. Mad thing. If it's another... Oh my god. Oh. Wait. Uh. It's bull bags clapping off your bum cheek. Oh. Having a man. 
man. So man's gonna oh be drilling you out and looking at man's ball bags, clapping with <laughs> your hamstrings. That's mad. That's gonna tips. give me PTSD. Now I'm insane. You see the next man's ball bags clapping against your bottom lip, man. Now I'm just watching. Oh, if it's another girl, it's cool. But yeah. the girl has to be on your level. You get me? You can't be bringing <coughs> no super fat bitch built like a snowman to me, bro. It's mm. dead. I like big things. Yeah, if I you're built like a things. snowman, it's, there's there's thick. I like big and curvy. Super big and curvy. You could be 16, 17, 18 stone and curvy. But if you're built like a like a raspberry, it's not happening, <laughs> bro. Can't just be out here built like a minion, bro. What is this? <laughs> Why? Like, that's gonna make love. My, no, because that's gonna make my dick soft, bruv. If your belly is bigger than your bum, come on now. What? That's some biggest loser shit now, bruv. How's your <laughs> belly sticking out further than your bum? That's mad. You're built like Jeez. Tyson Fury, bruv. That's mad. <laughs> what if I earn more money well, than you? I, I don't mind that. That's all good of me. Most girl I've ever dated earn way more than me. Way more. Mm-hmm. I like that shit. No that means that you're about sign. You get me? You can elevate me on some next shit and inspire me and motivate me to get on your level. I love that shit. Thanks. Thanks. How do you think you've done on the date? I don't really give a shit. I'm not going to lie, bruv. Because okay. I know that I did good. You get me? I know that I'm a spice. So right. regardless how it goes, I don't give two f***s, bruv. I'm going to leave here and get some pussy anyway. So I had a great time. You get me? How about you? You have a good time? Yeah, I've had the right time. Don't know, I like that. Denkashen, you get me? I think it was a great date, you get me? Like, I left the house, I was in a good mood, came out here, it was a nice date, had some wine, some good conversation, it was nice. He was honest, so I can't knock him. He was an honest guy, but that was awful. Like, who talks about sex so much? She was cute, I like her. You didn't staff it, you joined in, you can't. The vibe. There was definitely not a second date. If she put on about two free stone, I would definitely date her again. I think he handled the grinning well. Although, like, I felt I couldn't really grill him. I just was trying to, like, conf- I wanted him to confide in me, you know? I think I did well, you know. I feel like throughout that whole thing, I got to know her a bit well, you get me? So it was nice. I, I guarantee you, if they, you go look on their social medias, they're following each other. And she's definitely DM'd him. I, I don't want to hear I it. did good. <laughs> the moment you walked in, I thought, I thought, you know what? Let me just ride it out. It surprised me that she was a bit nervous still. She looked a bit rattled, I'm not going to lie. I think what impressed me the most was his honesty, because I genuinely like an honest man, but however, it didn't actually impress me what was coming out of his mouth. Big man thing, I think she's definitely gonna rate me a 10, bruv. You get me, I'm the main event, how could she not? 10? I think some of that crack rubbed off on him. <laughs> that girl definitely likes bad boys, bruv. I'm telling you, man them, bad man, hit her up, bruv. I'm telling you, she's on that. This is a very generous, like, score that I'm gonna give him. I felt like, he was opening up and honest, and I always want an honest man, but he has way too much trauma going on, and I'm not trying to mother him. Like, I just want a partner. So I'm going to give him a three. I feel like that's, that three is a lot of cap, man. See you, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. This was hilarious. I'm gone. <laughs>